Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, let's get through to see how to create custom functional buttons. In this practice, I will add some custom JavaScript action buttons using the button field from Metabox to remove or input values into other custom fields. Whenever you click on this button, all the values from these fields will be deleted. To input a default value into them, just click on this button. These fields are just normal fields. And these fields are button fields, but added functions. It's quite easy to do it, just follow this practice. For the custom fields, we need the Metabox plugin to have a framework to create them. You can install it directly from WordPress.org. Depending on your requirement about structure and features of the fields, you may need some extensions from Metabox. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one. In this case, I use only the Metabox Builder extension to have a UI on the back end to easily create custom fields. I have a custom post type as products already, and I'll create some typical fields for it. Normally, to input or remove data from these custom fields, you must click on one by one and do it manually. But with JavaScript, you can use another field to automatically do it in bulk. Let's create a new field group. Add a field in the type as button. This is to reset the value of all the created fields at once. It means removing the data that are saving in the fields. And a new button to add default values for those fields at the same time as well. Now, go to the settings page Set location is the same post type that we applied the previous field group to. Then, in the post editor of that post type, you will see the custom fields and new buttons with the label you created. But, these buttons haven't worked for now. Let's move on to add JavaScript to handle custom actions for them. We should add some code to the theme's files or use some third-party plugins as code snippets or to add code. In the functions.php file, add this code to create a new JS file in the JS folder. Go to the created file and add this code. This is to trigger the moment when users click on the reset button. This is the ID of the reset button. If they do so, this line will remove all the values in the custom fields in the field group that has this ID. This is to trigger the moment when users click on the default button. This is the ID of the default button. When a user clicks on it, these lines of code will set these values into fields. This is the ID of the field group that contains the custom fields. These are the ids of each field that we want to set value for. And this is the value we will input to each field. That's all. Now, go back to the post editor. You can click on these two buttons to see how they work. So that's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try more tips, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. 
Bye.